trying to see where the use trail is. So I don't have to retrace my steps over that. Over here is going to be a rock scramble. Let's see. There's the that I thought was a use trail around here. Around this side. So, now my job is to link away over there. Let me see. Not the trail around right here. It's First time I've ever seen it in San Diego County. I know it grows very sparsely here and in this mountain range, but this is a California laurel. Six thousand two hundred feet above sea level. It's the highest I've ever seen bear laurel. It's pretty cool. Okay, well. One plant that I'm not surprised to see up here. Canyon live oak. job is to cut through this little scramble part here and at that gate take the use trail or whatever, fire break or whatever that is, and start heading north up to Hayes Peak. That'll be my second one of the day.
potentially see into Arizona, from what I've heard or read, potentially see all the way into Arizona. The, this is the way I came up the first time. Just up this way instead of up the road. So now, just gotta keep following this over to near that little workstation over there. Here over here. But if you go up the road, it's a very easy walk to the summit. Just stay out of the way of all the workers up there. shrub here with an absolutely a clean fragrance very minty clean fragrance related to sages and mints in the La Miasse furthest inland and the highest and also the hottest places. Okay, so now, time to search for the breakaway. You know there's a way to connect this with that. Now I just gotta find where it is. Or else this is gonna be a thrush and bushwhack session. Looks like I found it. So when you're here, you're by where this building is, or trailer. Look at this. Underneath this uh, young Jeffrey pine right here. I think this will be our route. Now, 
there could be some potential bushwhack situations because it's a, it's a fire break that looks has likely been oh, has been overgrown for years. So I would anticipate the potential of having to bushwhack. But no, noting the stature of the chaparral, it's fairly low growing here, so I don't anticipate, at least right now, anything too insane. But yep, yeah, that's my next point right there. Hayes Peak. It's not a very well-known peak. I don't even know if I've ever seen it on the topo maps. I've seen it on Peak Bagger, and I've heard of it. But... Looks like there's a trail that branches off over there, too. That might have been the mice. I think that was my ascent trail. Yeah, I think that was the trail I came up. Because leading over towards the thicket of black oaks down there. So. Here we go, folks. I don't know if this dips below 6,000 feet or not before I start climbing, but I don't know if it dips below the 6,000 foot line. This is, for me, new territory. I know this peak, this peak does get, I think, at least somewhat regular visitation. So, pretty sure there will be some type of passageway without having to go crazy, but you never know. I'm still up for it, whatever. I just still want to go to a peak I've never visited before. I've been to Monument Peak once. So, it's just, that was when I wasn't filming, I wasn't filming my hikes and putting them on YouTube back in 2017. I started filming some stuff, and I uh, went back over my archives and started uploading some old clips that I thought would be interesting for the channel. Ah... Garia Flavescens, Pale Silk Tassel, yes indeed, Pale Silk Tassel up here, along this six, near this 6,000 foot saddle here. So far this is pretty good, this is pretty followable, very followable actually, almost like a, tr almost like a, almost like a, a trail, as opposed to a fire break. So we'll see how long this lasts. Start ascending pretty soon. I'm almost down to the saddle. Should be not much further past that canyon live oak thicket over there. Lonely old canyon live oak. Yeah, and these very exposed ridges, they tend to be a lot shrubbier. idea though in the right conditions in the right conditions those can become massive trees ah shrubby interior live oak work is whizzles any variety frutessens okay looks like interior live oak has entered the chat here's a shrubby canyon live oak right here a quercus chrysolipus oh, I like this I like this portion of the hike Here, I love it. I love this chaparral out here. Yeah, maybe these, I think these are actually these scrub oaks I was talking about in the first clip or two. I think probably are Mueller oaks. That's something I don't recognize. I don't know what that is. Might have to look that up. will have to look that up. You know me, I'm very curious about 
plants. Okay, so this is where it becomes a little less distinct. It's more like walking on a on an old fire break. So trail kind of peters out over here, but don't anticipate route finding being a seriously big issue. Fallible use trail. Getting a lot more interior live oak up here now. Okay. Now is where the work starts kicking in. Oh! First off, look at this interior live oak's got acorns. Oh, look at that. It's like this guy's gonna have a good year. Again, interior live oak, Quercus whistles any variety for tessens. The acorns are already starting to ripen. Actually, accidentally knocked one off, but it's ripe, so no big deal. Animals bump off once they fall off like that. They're ripe. A lot of uh, Ariodiction trichocalyx variety lanatum. The woolly Yerba Santa, which is the type you'll be more likely to find here in the Laguna Mountains. But you don't see it in the San Gabriel, so you see variety trichocalyx in the San Gabriel Mountains instead. Here's a nice little cup leaf Ceanothus. The old trunks. Beautiful Ceanothus perplexans. And there's Monument Peak. My first stop of the day. This peak is pretty easy to recognize from a lot of the other mountain ranges here in Southern California. Because of its very abrupt pointy structure in the middle of a relatively gentle mountain crest. Ooh. A slew of hikers must have just come up from Might be, they might be trying to head over to Hayes Peak, too. This whole group of people. So yeah, if you want a quicker, easier hike to these peaks, definitely recommend parking at the Big Laguna Trail. looking for something longer, you can find some other PCT trailhead and just follow the PCT north or south for a longer hike to get here. You probably noticed the lack of hiking last week, no videos. Yeah, last week I was just too tired. All right. All right. See you on the next clip. Be heading up to the top of this.